Hi guys, it's Matt from Max on UK, and in this R19 feature video, we are going to be looking at some new object creation commands. So, imagine that you've got a scene here, like I've got my three cubes, and I want to make each of them a child of a subdivision surface. Now, I could go through the lengthy process of making three individual subdivision surfaces and then making the cubes children of all of them, or I can use this new command. So if I hold down the Alt key on the keyboard when I create my subdivision surface, you can see that instantly I get three subdivision surfaces, okay, and they, the cubes all become children of that. So that's a really useful command. So that's Alt, and that parents all of your selected elements individually, okay? But what if I want to work the other way? What if, for example, I have the three cubes and now I think I could really do with a child object in each of them as well, say like a bend deformer. So if I hold down Alt and this time Shift as well and then create a bend deformer, you can see that holding down Shift and Alt creates a bend deformer as a child of my three selected cubes. Not only that, but it also creates it in the space of the parent object, okay, and if you look, it creates it in the size of the parent object as well. Now that is a really useful feature to have. That could have been quite a fiddly thing to do on its own. Now another really useful object command, and the last of our alt commands, is um, the parental grouping. So if you've got something like this, um, a setup of splines, and you want to add it to a loft nerbs, Obviously, you could create one and you know, just drag and drop them. But with this new command, you can select all of the objects that you want to be a child of a parent object. And you hold Alt and Control. And then if you just create yourself your loft nerbs, they instantly become a child of that object. Now, it doesn't matter what object you are parenting um, or using as a parent. This is just a really useful way of doing it. It will just create a parent object of that. It's a bit like grouping, except this time you can use any object um, as the group parent as opposed to a null. Okay, and lastly, imagine that we've got this spline set up and we want to add some more splines to uh, uh, our sweep nerves. We already know that we can add this as a parent to all of them individually by holding Alt. There we go. And then what we can do is if we select all three of the sweeps, okay, we can add child objects, okay, we know that we can add it to those, but we can add it in the hierarchy. So actually if we select all three of the circles, and then we go to something that, say, we want it to add a sweep around, if we hold down control, it creates a star and it creates it after each of those in that hierarchy which is okay, um, doesn't really work for me here. So if I just undo, but if I hold down Control and Shift and do the same thing, okay, you can see that it then adds it above the hierarchy, which is really useful for me. So it then gives me my sweep nerves all the way around there. Okay guys, I hope that was a useful little feature update for you and I will catch you in the next feature video.